Hi guys, my name is Nina Jenskal and welcome to a walkthrough of the Teacher's Pet Quest in Sims Free Play. This was released with the new Downtown High update that came out at the end of August 2017. You will get a pop-up to say there's a new discovery quest available. Before we can take part in the quest, we have to build Downtown High. So we have to head over to the downtown area of Sintown and we have downtown high school. So this takes two days and 18 hours for me, which is a very long time, and three million simoleons, and I have to have 22 sims in my town. This could be slightly different for you, depending upon how many buildings you already have in your sim town. The newest education facility in the city, downtown high, is home to the Oinkers sports team with a pig as their mascot. This school is without a snout, the best school in town. Let's get this starting to build. Now our school is built, so we can go ahead and click on it. And then once you click on it, you'll get the pop-up new quest available, Teacher's Pets. We have eight days for this quest. Your sim accepts a summer job as groundskeeper at Downtown High. With all the students on holidays, what could possibly go wrong? So the quest begins immediately when you finish the building. So if you're not ready to do the quest at the moment, then obviously don't complete the building until you're ready to do the quest. So by completing this quest, gain access to the downtown high class clown hobby. And if we complete it within the time limit, we will win the simply adorable teacup pig set. First thing we need to do is to visit downtown high. Your sim accepts a summer job as groundskeeper at downtown high. It's summer holidays, no kids. How hard can it be? Head to downtown to commence your duties. Send a sim to downtown high. So to do this, you need to click on downtown high. Oh, look at this place. We can build different classrooms and things. And there's a sports field out the back. We've got a second story on it as well. Okay, this is awesome. Right, so we need to whistle a sim over. So go into your sim tracker and whistle someone over. Task complete, visit downtown high. Now we need to phone the principal. Your sim arrives at downtown. It's school holidays, so there's not a student in sight. Better check in with Principal Hughes to see exactly what being groundskeeper entails. Tap on the sim selected to call the principal. So just tap on the sim so we don't need to go home. Oh, there we go. Call principal. So we don't use a telephone for this. You just tap on your sim. Call principal for one minute. We've phoned the principal. Now we need to clean up the front of the school. The principal's contact is the Aloha Beach Resort. It takes a few minutes, but your sims finally put through to the principal at the Aloha Poolside Bar. An angry voice comes across the line. Haven't you noticed all the trash out the front of school? Have your sim clean up the trash at the front of the school. Hint, look for the exclamation mark bubbles. So this is kind of like over at the stables and the restaurant where we have to clean places up. So we move for 2 hours 30, I assume, yeah, there's going to be a few. So I'm going to bring over a couple more sims. So bring over as many as you can to obviously speed this process up. You can, of course, just have one sim working on it, but it's obviously quicker if you have more sims doing it at the same time. We've got another 2 hours 30, another 2 hours 30, an hour, another hour, another hour. Another hour, we have a 30 minutes. Okay, there's quite a lot of trash to be clearing up here. And we have a five minutes, and oh, that is all of them. So altogether, that is nine different bits of trash that you need to clear up. If you can, bring over nine sims to get that completed in the quickest time. Obviously, that's gonna take two hours, 30 minutes for all of those to complete because that was the longest time of clearing some of the trash. There we go, task complete. They've finished removing all of the rubbish. We've cleaned up the front of the school. Now we need to play with soccer ball. The front of the school is looking marginally better. All work and no play makes your sim strangely edgy. Kicking a soccer ball will clear their head. Have your sim play with the soccer ball on the sports field at the rear of the school. So we can go over to the back here and there's a soccer ball here or a football. I'm from England. We call these footballs. Uh, kick ball for five minutes. The next thing to do is to clean the sports field. Having qualified for the Hurled Cup, your sim notices the sports field is a pigsty. Have your sim clean up the trash on the school sports field. So same thing again. We've got an exclamation mark. So oh, wow, yeah, look at all this trash. So we have a two hours and 30 minutes. So I've still got all of my sims over here from previously. If you haven't, obviously just bring them back over. Another two hours 30. 
one hour thirty. One hour, one hour thirty. Wow, there's so much trash. One hour, one hour. Oh, there's some down here as well. So I think we've got um, more than ten here. Two hours thirty, one hour, and another one hour. So we can only have ten sims in one location at any one time. And uh, we have our ten, and there's still trash that we need to clean up. So we need to wait for some of them to finish. And then we can uh, start again. I think maybe there's only one or two more pieces that we need to do. So once some of them have finished, you can continue. And we've got another remove for 1 hour 30. And we've got a remove for 4 hours 10. Any more, I think? No, I think that is all of them. So we'll leave them completing that clean up. The sports field is all clean. Now we need to phone the principal again. What? A tiny teacup pig appears from under the final piece of rubbish. Could this be Downtown High's famous mascot, Vernon? Better put a call into Principal Hughes to confirm Vernon's identity. Tap on the selected sim to call the principal. So that whichever sim is selected, go ahead and click on him and call principal again for one hour and 40 minutes. We finish on the phone to the principal. We need to now say hello to Vernon. Finally, you are put through to Principal Hughes in her Lohar's Day Spa and Hot Rock Retreat. A relaxed principal confirms that the pig is Vernon and the school's mascot. He asks your sim to look after Vernon until the school resumes. With introductions complete, have your sim say hello to Vernon. So here's Vernon in the middle of the... Oh, look, how adorable. Is he? Let's go ahead and click on him and say hello for three hours and 20 minutes. We've said hello to them and that was just so unbelievably cute. He was like jumping up at us and everything. So adorable. Now we need to feed Vernon. Your sims now have access to everything a teacup pig could possibly need. Say, is Vernon looking a little peckish? Have your sim feed him. Okay, so let's click on him again and feed him. Wow, six hours and 40 minutes. We have finished feeding Vernon, now we need to lie down on a school bench. It's been a crazy day, cleaning up trash, qualifying for the Hurled Cup and becoming the primary carer of a teacup pig named Vernon. It's taken a lot out of your sim, I'm not surprised. Have your sim take a lie down on a bench. So we've got a exclamation mark pop up to show us where to go, click on that and lie down on school bench for two hours down at the bottom there. Task complete, we finished our lie down, we're nice and rested. Now we need to search the field. Your sim awakens, but where's Vernon? This is like a bad dream. Have your sim frantically search the field for Vernon. Okay, so let's search the field and that takes 10 minutes. We finished searching, now we need to send a sim to the park. Vernon is nowhere to be found, but wait, those are trotter prints. They look like they're heading to the park. Send a sim to the park to investigate. So we need to go out onto the town map and head over to your park. Once you're at the park, whistle over a sim and that completes the task. Send a sim to the park. Now we need to search the fountain. Your sim races to the park. Now if you were a pig, what would you do? Be the pig, be the pig. Pigs are always dirty, right? Of course. Have your sim check the fountain to see if Vernon is having a shower. Click on the fountain and search the fountain for seven hours and five minutes. We've finished searching the fountain. Now we need to answer the call from the principal. The fountain is pig free. Phone's vibrating. Oh no, it's Principal Hughes calling your sim. They've taken time out from their deep tissue massage to see how Vernon is. Your sim can't let the principal know Vernon is missing. What better way to fool the principal than to impersonate Vernon? Tap on selected sim and have them oink like a pig. Okay, so oink like a pig for 2 hours and 30 minutes. Now I need to check coach's email on a computer. Phew, that was close. But your sim is no closer to finding Vernon. But watch this. You got mail. An email has come through on your sim's phone from the school sports coach. Uh-oh. Have your sim read the email on any computer in a home lot. Okay, so we need to head home from the park. And then once we're home, just click on a computer and read coach's email for eight hours. We finished reading the email, we need to now photograph Vernon. The email reads, Vernon has been chosen to be featured in Mascot Monthly. 
Please send through a picture of Vernon so we can pick out an outfit for the photo shoot. Okay, no need to panic. Your sim has an idea. Have a sim take a photo of any pet. Okay, so here you need to have a pet in your town. If you haven't already got a pet, you need to add one by going to the pet store. So out on your town map, come over to the pet store here. Click on the pet store and then once you're inside, you can purchase any pet. It doesn't matter which one you do, whether it's dogs, puppies, cats, fairies, dragons, whatever you have, just purchase any pet. If you haven't already got one, but I'm sure you'll have a pet at somewhere in your town. Go to a house with a pet, click on the pet, and then you've got the option to photograph pet for 15 hours. We've finished photographing Vernon. Now we need to adjust photo on a computer. Your sim gets the perfect snap. Now all that's left to do is apply a little photo magic. Have a sim use Simstagram filters using any computer. So we're over in a house with computers. Click on a computer and apply filters for 3 hours and 20 minutes. We've photoshopped that picture. Now we need to return to the park. A little blur here, some smear there, perfect. The photo looks exactly like Vernon the pig. The coach won't suspect a thing. Add attachment and send. Now that's sorted, better get back to the trail. Have your sim return to the park. So once we're at the park, go in the sim tracker and whistle over a sim and that's task complete. Now we need to follow the trail of rubbish in the park. Returning to the park, your sim discovers a trail of rubbish. If their parents taught your sim one thing, it's that pigs are messy. Have a sim follow the trail in the park. So inside the park, there's a little bit of rubbish. It's got an exclamation mark on. Click on that and follow the trail. So this hasn't got a time on it. So as soon as your sim gets over to it, it will send your sim home and it will complete the task. So there we go, it sent us home, task complete, follow the trail of rubbish in the park. Now we need to have two sims in a house lot. The trail leads straight to a house lot. Better look around and find out who's at home. Ensure there's another sim in the house lot. So again, go into your sim tracker and whistle someone over. I already had another sim in this house. So if you do already have one sim over there, when your other sim gets there, it will automatically complete. If not, whistle someone over. Now we need to have your sim lie to another sim. Your sim introduces themselves and explains they are looking for a messy person. This isn't going so well and your neighbour looks offended. They can't know the truth as to why your sim is here. Have your sim fabricate a better lie to another sim. So with one sim selected, click on the other sim and tell a lie. Top right is 8 hours and 20 minutes. We finished telling our lie, now we need to watch a sports event on TV. Praising your neighbour's sense of shabby chic placates their suspicions. Your neighbour notices your sim's high level of stress and invites them to watch a sporting event on TV. So if we click on a TV and watch sports for 9 hours 30 We've watched the sports event, now we need to sit and think of a solution. Wait, is that... That's not a snout-nosed child in the crowd. It's Vernon. The school sports mascot is at a sporting event. How can your sim use this information to have your sim sit and try and come up with a solution? So click on a sofa and think of a solution for one hour and 12 minutes. We've thought of a solution. Now we need to confess to five sims. Nope, your sim's got nothing. Your sim realises that they need help. It's time for your sim to fess up and ask for help. Have your sim come clean to five other sims and ask for help. So I have a little tip for this particular task within the quest. So if you click on another sim, you have come clean for five hours and you need to do this five times with five different sims. Obviously that takes a long time, 25 hours, if you just do them one after another. So what you want to do instead is use 10 sims and just come clean for 5 hours. So you've got like 5 pairs and just come clean for 5 hours. Come clean, come clean and I've got 2 more sims here. Yeah, come clean. So overall that will only take 5 hours because they are all doing it at the same time. Definitely saves you a lot of time if you do it like that rather than just one after the other. It's 5 hours instead of 25 hours. We have finished confessing to five sims. Now we need to workshop a solution. 
Telling the truth makes weight has been lifted and the other Sims are sympathetic to your Sims' plight. Ideas for finding Vernon come thick and fast. Have your Sim workshop a solution with another Sim. So with one Sim selected, click on another Sim. And workshop solution is 14 hours and 10 minutes. We have finished workshopping a solution. Now we need to send five Sims to the Downtown High Sports Field. Your Sims all put their heads together and if Vernon loves sports, a sports event will undoubtedly draw his attention. It's time for the Downtown High Sports Spectacular. Send five Sims to the Downtown High Sports Field. So back over to Downtown and over to Downtown High and then just go into your Sim Tracker and whistle over five sims and that is task complete on that now perform sports activities at the downtown high sports field your sims are all gathered at the sports field now it's time to perform a sporty activity of some kind have five sims perform sporty actions by tapping on the x so if we go over to the sports field sports action for wow 18 hours and 20 minutes so we want to get all five doing this at the same time because obviously we don't want to do one after the other because that would take forever there we go i think i've got all five coming over now yes all five are coming over oh look at him he's doing a track racing are they going to do oh they're all going to do different things look this is cool He's playing footy, he's running, he's doing press-ups. Um, that's gonna, oh, she's drinking water. I thought she took her phone out of her pocket, but no, she's drinking water. She's not really dressed for a sports activity, to be honest, is she? But never mind. There we go, task complete. They've all finished performing their sports activities. Now we need to hug Vernon. What was that? A delighted grunt followed by joyful snort can only mean one thing. Like a true committed mascot, Vernon has been drawn to all the sports activity. Your sim is beside themselves with joy. As stressed as your sim was, it is literally impossible to be angry with a teacup pig. Have a sim, hug Vernon. Vernon has reappeared on the sports field and you need to hug him for 22 hours and 30 minutes. We have finished hugging Vernon. Now we need to build the classroom. Uh-oh, Principal Hughes is calling your sim again. They have been forced to surface. They have been forced to surface from their flotation tank to be informed of unsanctioned activity on the school grounds. They are furious. Your sim has summer detention, no exceptions, and cannot leave the school until all subjects are complete. They expect, with your maturity, for this to be done unsupervised. Have your sim build the English room in downtown high. So this English room is going to become part of what we need to use for the class clown hobby that we're going to unlock when we finish this. So here are the different rooms that we're going to use for the hobby. And we need to build the English room. This is going to take 10 seconds, nice and quick. It's going to cost 500 simoleons. And it's going to add a town value of 500. And there we go, you'll get this pop up. When it's finished, your new English classroom is complete. So let's click, task complete, build the classroom at 100%, that is the quest complete as well. Congratulations, you have completed the teacher's pet quest. You have gained access to the class clown hobby. Tap on the English room in downtown high to start the hobby. So I'm going to do a video on that hobby and I will link it down below in the description when that is up on the channel. Because we completed it within time, we earned the teacup pig pet, which you can find in the pet store. So we'll check that out now. We're in the pet store. Let's have a look. Oh, look, teacup pig. So the first one is free. Oh, my goodness. So cute. So let's, I mean, should we give it to Barbie? Let's give it to Barbie. And then, oh wow, they're 100 LP after that. That is crazy. Here's Barbie in her nice penthouse. And she has her little pig <laughs> living here with her. Oh my goodness, how adorable is this little pig? So cute. Right, there you go, guys. That is the end of this teacher's pet video. Let us know down below if you managed to finish in time. I'm a little bit gutted that they cost 100 LP. 
so annoying when you win, you work hard to win things in Sims Free Play and then you have to spend LP on them. But, you know, that's just part and parcel of the game, I suppose. But thanks for watching. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell so you get a notification of when I upload a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.